Hey everyone. Uh, today I just want to touch on a kind of a, a core foundational uh, generalist topic, and it's on grades. And I don't mean grades as far as school or university go. I mean the grades when we're looking at results from different mining uh, operations. And as a general outlook, we're going to keep this as simple as we can. So we're talking about the depth and the width of the veins, uh, how deep they're going. Say, for example, we want to know, is it shallow drilling, uh, as in like a couple hundred meters down of drilling, or are we talking about something that's really deep drilling, like two kilometers down? Where we intercept those numbers between the 200, 300 meters to a kilometer down matters as well, because it lets us know, are we going to have an open pit mine, or are we going to have an underground mine? Uh, all of these get taken into account when we see some of these results. So knowing where they intercept uh, is key. So the other thing, of course, knowing how deep we're going is how wide these veins are. Are we talking about you know half a meter? Are we talking about a meter? Are we talking about seven meters wide, something giant? Uh, these things you know, obviously let us know the, the width as well. So if we're talking about you know shallow with thick veins, that's much better than deeper with skinny veins. Um, once again, there's lots of people that would say, wait a second, Kirkland Lake or, or even Great Bear has lots of skinnier types. Well, that's, yes. And, and those are turning out to be outstanding projects. Obviously, this is just a general, uh, discussion about grades and those grades, because you talked about those two are very high in, in those skinnier veins. So, um, what we're looking for is, at, you know, if we're talking about bulk tonnage, one to two grams, uh, is considered pretty good grams per ton grade. Um, and when you look at, at, at tons and grams, here's a good picture of what a gram or a couple grams look like. Here's a good idea of what a ton looks like. So we're talking about, you know, flakes and little amounts coming out of a giant amount. So when we're looking at a more attractive or what they call a, a high grade zone, some will say it's as low as six grams uh, per ton gold. Others would say, like the World Gold Council will say, it's between eight to 10 grams per ton. So, you know, that's a pretty wide range. Uh, but these are general numbers that we need to look at to get a bit of a sense of a company is on, ta on target with their, with, their, uh, with their projects and their targets. So also remember at the end of the day that it's, it's not just the, the grades as well. Um, it's looking at how difficult it is to get it from the ground. So the metallurgy as well, which will be another video. And remember, you're crushing rocks. So this isn't uh, this isn't drilling that would have been for helium or oil and gas where you hit uh, a reservoir and boom, you've got money the next day because you can pull that liquid out very quick or that gas out very quick. This is grabbing flakes of material or percentages of material from rock. Um, so once again, it's just a quick understanding of mining. Uh, on grades and we'll do a further one in the future.